let's call this meeting of the historical commission to order. Alan, thank you for your minutes um, and for sending them around again. Does uh, anyone, would anyone like to move approval of the minutes? Move. Okay, uh, did someone second? I didn't. <laughs> Sure, it's I'll take first. Okay. I think we had two okay. motions and no seconding. Yes, yes, yes. We have an abundance of, of movement, but no. Um, all in favor? Aye. Okay, terrific. Um, and I have everything in front of me with the agenda. What what were we going to do first? What's the agenda say? We have the important architectural details. Yes, we were going to do that. That's what I thought that we were going to. Judy, do you want to talk with us about your your notes? Okay. <laughs> um, I basically and, and the very impressive picture with the little labels on it. That's so, awesome. I, I want you to teach me how to do that sometime. I like that. <laughs> it's, you do it in PowerPoint. <laughs> well, I actually totally liberated this from Bonnie Parsons' National Register listing description. Mm -hmm. And she listed what she thought were the important elements on the building. So this is essentially that. In fact, it's just about literally that. Um, I'm sorry, is that the MACRS listing? No, the National Register. Um, National. Sorry. The, the district write up. It's what, if you have the updated Form B I did, I, I incorporated that into the Form B as well because so much better than the one that was in the original form B. Um, so this is everything she mentioned as being worthy of mention was, I guess the one thing I added was the, whatever the metal thing is that sticks up on the cupola, which I mm -hmm. suspect is a lightning rod, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But I think it, it, it I was trying to imagine what it would look like without it. It'd probably be fine, but it looks so nice with it there. But mm -hmm. anyway, um, it probably needs it. And some of this is probably important. I mean, if, you know, I think the elements that really matter are the the front entryway and the surround and the steps, um, the elaborate treatment of the cornice, the roof shape and the cupola and, and the brick decorations. That would be the string course and the water course and the raised panel. Um, and I guess the lintels and sills on, around the windows and the windows. Um, so you haven't left much out? Nope. Yeah. I don't know whether we care about the back. I, some of the windows have obviously, which I didn't realize before, have been modified. The, the shorter windows on the north and the back mm -hmm. were, were shrunk at some point from the ones that are taller elsewhere in the building. Um, haven't left much out. I don't know whether we care whether the detailing is maintained on the back or not. You can't see it from any place. In fact, I back. don't think I'd ever seen it before. Back, back meaning east. East, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, obviously. Yeah, I, I, I was interested in your observation. I'm switching over to your revised form B that the door surround for the door from the first floor, which is not the ground floor back there, it makes it clear that the original door was different. I thought yeah. that, was, that, that was really interesting. Um, I, um, <laughs> I think it, if, if we decided to simply include your list, I think saying that it is the list that was 
um, included in the description of the building in the National Register registration form would be a good thing to do. In other words, we didn't just make this yeah. stuff up. <laughs> you know, it has. I don't know that we need to itemize the windows. Um, you could just say windows, <laughs> but uh huh. Whether they're twelve over twelve or eight over eight or double or tri triple sash probably doesn't matter a whole lot. It's the only shortening thing I could think of. One one question: What is a a, a modillon? Modillon the. M -O -D -I. Do you have the the picture on the next page? Is it actually on the picture? Yeah, it's on the lower picture. The lower picture, those little boxes under the. Oh, above. Oh, okay. Almost right. like a corbel. I was just going to. I was just going to say that in my arts and crafts house, they they were called corbels. <laughs> Well, well you know, the but, but they were different. There's there there's an open it's space. It's half it's half a horrible. It, and it's 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 like a bracket. It's a it's really. a big dental. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a three dimensional <laughs> dental. Yes. Well, uh, um, okay. A long dental. Um. Anyway. Uh, you know we don't have. I I thought it was great. I mean, I'd be perfectly happy it, it, taking your questions out. <laughs> um, I'd be perfectly happy to um, to just drop this into the uh, to the document, in the, or probably into the uh, the restriction uh, requirements addendum. Um, I think it's terrific. I agree. It, mm. it made it made me think your 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 comments about the back made me, um, I'm jumping ahead, think, wonder whether it would be sensible to suggest that ADA accessibility uh, measures be taken in, in the back facade, the east facade. And I, uh, I kind of came back to thinking we might not want to be that restrictive. I would agree because I suspect it might involve grading more than. Um, I have I have always thought that that if that the grading is so odd around that building that by either yeah. low, particularly on the south side, by either lowering. <laughs> the earth level or lifting it, you could probably yeah, you, lower you, could, you could get a direct access into one floor or the other. Yeah, and then you could have a lift and you wouldn't need a lot of external. Right. Right. Uh, but right. Um anything <laughs> any other so any other comments about this list which so you would just say windows? We'd have to say double hung windows, right? Or we would just say all the windows? All the windows. Some of them aren't windows. double hung. The right. Triple sash ones aren't. Some of them are triple sash, right. Right. I'd just say all the windows. OK. Probably including the ones in the dormer that aren't listed there. Right. I think this is fabulous. I was pleased with the way it turned out, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice and clear. Do we need a motion? Do no, I don't think we need a motion. I think we just need agreement. <laughs> no, it's um, I think I don't I don't do other other people to other. We, I don't think we could do any better. I think this gives us exactly what we need to go into the document. Should we, given Alan's um, question about Modillion, should we should we bracket an alternate word for that or not? You can ten seconds on Google and it turns up. <laughs> okay. Half corbel is that what the alternative expression? <laughs> Actually, it's usually compared to dentals. So, um, okay. But 
I think either works. So thank you. And, and Judy, thank you for also for revising the form B, which is just so much better. Uh, well, I mean, you know, if we- Well, you can we, thank Bonnie Parsons actually. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> um, I mean, if, if the five of us had nothing else to do, we could just deliberately for the rest of our lives improve every one of those poorly written incomplete <laughs> macros entries <laughs> for the town of Waitley. Um, the reason, one reason I did it was so that there would be photographs, and then I noticed that you had an exhibit for photographs anyway. So I, uh, I don't know if you could take away the exhibit, the exhibit for photographs, if if they're in the B or not. Um, the, the labels and the photos help a lot. Um, well, I think those could go with the. What are label preservation guidelines here are actually kind of working guidelines for managing this going forward more than a list of what's restricted, you know, what the difference is between right. maintenance and right. something that needs approval. You're um, talking about the general document that I sent you all the other no, day. No. And then and then about five minutes before this meeting, I looked again at the the version of that I had actually preferred and realized that it isn't just a list equivalent to your list of things to be preserved, but it intermingles in a prose way, um, general guidelines and the specific ones to the building that was being saved. It's not about this building, obviously. So, uh, which I kind of liked, um, but I, I think it would be great how how do you remember how long it takes our friends at the Massachusetts Historical Commission to accept a, a revised form? Because you've done four or five that I've been aware I of. I don't know, but the first hurdle is town council, and I'm the lawyer who worked with me on the fund on the grant agreement for the church warned that they typically have their own style and format. The 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 town our our town attorney has to approve a macro entry. Oh, I'm sorry, the NACRA entry. Yes. Oh, they'll just That's approve that. You don't get approval, you just send it in. You just send it. Okay, sorry. Yes, I was asking about macros. So I, I sent you a note that I had a couple of small suggestions, so I will now send them to you. And okay. should yeah, anybody else, you sent this out as a Word document, right? Yeah. Submitted um, as a Word, you submitted as a Word document. Right, right. So um, th there is, um, it occurred to me that, that that historic photograph that you found, Allison, the view yeah. from the dingle of the school is a really nice historic photograph. I don't know if, I'm, if, if you know that one, Judy, but if you're willing to include another older photograph, it's, it's, sure. it's from the- um, Yeah, I know. It's, that it's from the north, from the northwest. It's, yeah, it's a nice one. From the dingle. Yeah, yes, yes, it shows the dingle. It shows the cemetery. It shows a couple of interesting things. It's a neat photograph. It's a king's It shows the hearse house in the dingle, in the cemetery. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so how, how, <laughs> um, as I wrote to you, uh, Michael Steinitz at the Historical Commission and I had a decent long conversation about what we wanted to achieve. Um, he was helpful, and I don't have this in front of me, but I use it in conversation with the select board in coming up with a list of eight or 10 other towns where there is not a preservation staff supporting the, the local historical commission, yet those historical commissions are managing historic preservation agreements. And so that was useful, I think. Um, and then he sent three examples, and he admitted this, that none of which were precisely analogous to our situation, but they all had some uh, relevance. Um, so I drew on those. Um, uh, in putting together this draft that I sent you. And I, I guess I'd like to open the floor to questions and comments and 
objections. For the minutes, can you repeat who the person was that provided this? Uh, Michael Steinitz uh, at the Massachusetts Historical Commission, who is the, I'm sorry, I don't know, I don't remember his title right now, but it can be. He's, uh, he's the preservation restriction. He, he, he manages his preservation, the preservation restrictions. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I can look, I'll look later at an email from him, which probably has his title. This um, was a lot of work, Donna. Thank you. Yeah, Donna, this is a really... Yeah. big project well um thank you it was <laughs> i did in the middle of it um learn how to turn pdfs into word documents although of course the simplest way to do it changes anything complicated into gibberish so uh -huh. and it's, yep. really, it's really <laughs> lovely you know? but it forces you to read the read them and make sure that that it's in english um, so, uh, and I would be happy to send any of you any or all of the three examples, but I guess that you didn't really want them. Um, so what do you think? What, what? I, ha I have a couple of concerns. Um, mm -hmm. One is the second, whereas the property. Mm -hmm. And I think that this whole thing is complicated by the milk bottle which isn't it is really it is and yeah. i the logic in this paragraph doesn't really hang together too well um and be, i wondered if it was really necessary i i'm sure in some cases it would be clearer but we're not really trying to preserve the landscape we're not we're not responsible for preserving the milk bottle. Um, we're trying, later on, there will be a covenant about, about the milk bottle. And uh, I think there's, there's probably more architectural information in here than is necessary. Well, um, it's interesting. I was actually astonished. This is actually less architectural information that is in the three examples that were given. They are, they go on and on and on and on. I, <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> it, um, the question about whether. Well, oh, maybe oh, fix the milk so, bottle part. But the, the milk that. bottle is a, the milk bottle is a separate. Let's just park as we, I, as it were, the I milk bottle we for a second. I think we can make that a separate whereas prop. I think we should. So, so. Um, Okay, if you think that's uh, it, it, it seemed to be what they wanted, um, and uh, what they want. Um, remember, he said these are all examples from the last two years. Okay. These are not ancient examples. Um, I, I mean, he, he told me that the milk bottle must be in the preservation restriction when I described yeah. what we wanted to do, but I didn't have any examples. Any you know of how to do no. it. So I'd be perfect well of a large concrete and wooden structure. Um, I so would... I, we could either take it out of this and move that to the part where I talk about the agreement that we're proposing for the milk bottle, or as you say, we could give it its own whereas. I, the town, I, our lawyers. Give it its own whereas, because it sort of separates the thought process. Okay. And I don't know whether you, well, and I think I would, and maybe again, this is something that has changed over time, but if I had been doing this, I would have started with an exceptional Georgian revival example. And then whereas the, the paragraph, you have at the top of page three, and then, then whereas it's on the National Register District, and then gone to this, but that's probably quibbling. Um, I think most yeah, people. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Logically, I, I I sat with the three examples and went 
whereas by whereas, paragraph by paragraph, and they were all in this order, I completely agree that it's not a logical (laughs) order. (laughs) It's just that to 90% of the world who doesn't know the way National Register districts work, that's the important thing, you know, gee, it's in the National Register district. But, okay, well, if if that was... Um, I'll go back. Why don't I go back and I'm not going to do it while we're on this meeting no, no. and see if any of the three are on the National Register. I mean, as you say, the process, the process is going to be to talk with the select board. And I'm assuming that that conversation will be not at the level of our conversation right now, but at the what you know, trying to describe to us what limitations you're proposing the the buyer must accept, right? And in fact, um, I'm jumping ahead, but since we're scheduled to meet uh, with the select board next week, I'm actually thinking that it would be useful to to do a summary sheet that simply address that, which yeah. I hadn't done, have not done. Um, then I, I'm not sure what the sequence will be, but town council will, will need to look at it and the historical Massachusetts Historical Commission will need to look at it. And when I asked him, remember um, how long it took them to approve the agreement for town hall, it, it was just endless. Yeah. Well, the buyer's attorney is going to have to look at it too. So, but that's a separate issue. That's before this is this is. I'm I'm at to get it to yeah. the point where it could be appended to the RFP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he said sixty days, ninety at the most. <laughs> I was surprised to hear it from from him. So um, sixty to ninety days for the state to approve. For it? the state, for the state to approve the draft, because we're still now talking about a draft, as Judy said, it would have to be, of course, you know, it would be part of a sale agreement. The buyer has the option to make negotiate. requests. Yeah, to negotiate, exactly, exactly. Um, so, but I, I will go back and look at that, the National Register. Um, Judy, what are you? what else? Well, I don't want to hog the whole meeting. Do no, do no, uh, uh, does anyone object to Judy hogging the meeting for a few months? Uh, okay, that's all right. right. <laughs> okay. Um, when you get to the paragraph on the easement for the milk bottle, uh, page, it's page five. Is page, it five? Page five. It gives access, but it doesn't include the part about the milk bottle needing to stay there. Oh. Okay. And good point. <laughs> that was the only really substantive thing I had. Well, maybe the next one too. Um, it then goes on to say the society shall ensure that the milk bottle is maintained in good repair, which I think means that this should include a maintenance agreement from the historical society i um i assumed uh that's a good idea i i only got as far as assuming that the historical society would have to sign off on this but but including as an addendum an exhibit and an it, yeah, that says that yeah that's a good idea And I don't know that it affects the wording, but I think as a practical matter, there's no way you can move the driveway on that lot because anything else is too close to the curve. You know, I thought that too. And I just thought, well, what if we write an agreement that says their access is from the South and somebody turns something, it turns it around entirely. In fact, when we had the, the, the Conway School do the plan for town center, 
one of the things that they proposed that we, the committee, uh, the ad hoc committee working on it, rejected, I can't remember why they were getting involved in this. They wanted to have the access to that property be from Christian Lane, um, which would have been at about a, a 45 degree angle. <laughs> you know, yeah, on a on a blind dead on, man, a, on a blind. <laughs> yes, and yeah, it was it was one of the more fanciful suggestions. <laughs> and there are setback requirements that, you know, it it, I I don't think anybody would approve it for the time that the select board has to approve moving driveways. And I don't think right. they do it. I don't know that that affects it. Um, you might I don't know. You could make the driveway circle around back behind the building and the parking lot on the north side of the building if you cared. You see what I mean? You'd pull in yeah. the same driveway and do a 270, you know, around the building. Maybe just say reasonable access by auto without specifying. I don't know. Or something like that. Yeah. I like right. that that simple language because it's not for us to say you can do this, but you can't do yeah, that. Yeah. Right. Um, but it occurs to me. Uh, given Alice, what you just said, Allison, that we might do the milk bottle and its owners a favor if we said something about um, some perimeter around the milk bottle. But, I well, mean, in, a, in other words, up, if somebody wanted to put a driveway right next to the milk bottle, it's going to hurt the concrete. I would, I would deal with that in the site, in the easement for the for siting the milk bottle as opposed to access. Mm -hmm. And but what would you say? That I haven't thought about, but you shouldn't be. You know, eight feet. Not 20 feet, that's too yeah. high, that's too much. Um, access, uh, uh, it has to be big enough so that you could paint the thing and get ladders up and. Um, I mean, the Historical Society has Nicholas Jones repairing the interior wood structure right now because it's uh, rotted a little bit. Um, well, they, actually, repa they repainted yeah. it all a while ago and yeah. Um, I, you know, Neil, that's probably something Neil and Nicholas could opine on better than we can, or certainly I can. Okay. Anybody else have an opinion about this? No. Really. I think we need to do it, but I have no idea what the appropriate. Yeah, I, I'm thinking okay. about about six feet is enough to, as you say, put up an extension ladder and hop off at the bottom, <laughs> you yeah. know, without, <laughs> I mean. Um, if one of the concerns is not wanting to damage whatever slab the milk bottle is on, we need to know how big is the slab to know what the perimeter would be. Right, okay, okay, I will investigate. Do you think, um, do you think we should end up with a draft easement for the milk bottle then that has two components? One is um, preservation of the structure and the site, and the second is access. Yes, but they can all be in one paragraph. Yeah, they can They can stay in paragraph 2.2, <laughs> Yeah. No, or whatever it is. And for the um, preservation of the structure and site, we actually had a little language well, in, in, a, in a letter we've written before. preservation of the structure, it's, pres it's guaranteed. It's guaranteeing its location. Location. Yeah. Or space, or, you know, you're guaranteeing it's, that it can stay there. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, uh, the other under prohibited activities further down on the page. Yeah. Number F. Um, 
no other building or structures. Yep. We care if they put sheds in the back okay. or, or um, solar things over the parking lot and back or cell towers in the cupola or. Well, I think this is about footprints. So I don't think cell towers in the cupola would be prohibited. Well, I don't think, I, I go back, back, I'm not sure we're trying to preserve the landscape as much as we are the visibility and the aspect, I guess. So whatever they wanted to put in back, I don't think any, we would care. Um, and if, for example, they wanted to put uh, solar panels over the parking or something, do we have a problem with that? I would. Or, or a dumpster. Yeah. Yeah, I like when you're separating out the landscape from the building. I don't know that we need this paragraph because we are saying the building and this is. Yeah, but we're selling the property. We're selling well, the property. So, so, so we, I mean, I don't mind taking that out. And I think it, it, this is just word for word what was in all three of the examples. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I, but a lot I, of these things you do care about the landscape um, and you do not want other things there. And well, um, we could, but um, we could get rid of F, strike it and change B to say no barrier building or structure. And it makes your point about visibility. Yeah. Would that work for people? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think that's all I, oh. Oh, and, and is that because you really thought the rest of it was okay, but, or because you were so incredibly bored that you couldn't bear to that point? <laughs> no. um, I will say I gave page five to Neil to read on, because the milk, milk bottle stuff is on it. He didn't notice, well, maybe it was because he, I had headed it easement for milk bottle. He didn't notice the glaring absence. He made one tiny word change, but he he uh, pointed out that there. I, I was suggesting striking the one about above ground utility transmission lines. There aren't actually any on the property right now. There aren't poles on the property now. I, I'm I'm not as strung out about telephone poles as some people are. I have to say. What do you well, think? Above, you. So what do you above think? Ground, you can't string them from the pole off the property to to the building because of where because of its location. You mean because it's above ground. I mean. The pole may not, the pole doesn't necessarily need to be on the property. Right. Wire would, wire would go over John Hannum's driveway or something, you know, perhaps. But that right. would be prohibited. Right. Should we take it out? I would, but. Wh which point, which point is it in now? Uh, D. The one I highlighted in yellow on okay. that page. The existing lines are all underground, so I think, aren't they? I don't think there are any. I'm not aware of any underground utility lines. Something Any anywhere in this town, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, don't you have a telephone? Don't you have telephone poles near your house? Yeah, we do. Um, I mean, there are poles, but isn't the service to that building under? I'm looking at, but I can't remember. What does a form B show oh, anymore? That is a really interesting question. I mean, there's a guy up the street from us who has underground wires that go to his house. So there's no no above ground wires that run to his house, his cable. Right, because he paid for that or some yeah. in the private individual paid for that. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, if there aren't any there now, I would suggest we leave it in. If there are, then I would suggest we take it out. Okay. If we all agree to that, I will walk by the building tomorrow <laughs> and, and do that. And then you had a question about whether we needed to inspect the interior of the school, and I don't think we do. And where was that? I'm sorry. Page 10, third, paragraph right. 13. Inspect. Right. I thought I. Right. Oh, I Okay. Are, are you wondering where the telephone poles go in rel relative to the school, Donna? Uh, I think we're. I think we we are. Several of us are wondering how the electrical lines to the center school are attached to the building. I see <laughs> where they where they are. Alan has raised a really interesting possibility that maybe they are underground, but. I can't see that far right now. <laughs> Allison is looking out her window. <laughs> well, see. I can see that the pole leaves. There's a pole kind of on John Hannum's driveway corner, and then the poles go through the Triangle Island. Right. You know, on the intersection, they don't actually go in the front yard of the school. They, they, right. There are no poles in the front yard of the school. They're they're across right. the island. But but that suggests that there may be a wire or two from no, one I of those can't poles. See, I can't see what the wires are doing right here. Uh, if, okay, I understand that if I see no wires attached to the school, I will leave point D in. If I see any wires, I will remove point D. <laughs> Is that what we've agreed on? You know, we could probably do on Google. Let me, I'll, I'll just look on Google. Yeah, you just do your, do your magic Google, Google thing now. there and see what you can discover. Right. We can probably see, you know, Sylvia and Walter Nye's assailant, oh, yeah. the, the house is assailant. Um, let me see if I have any more questions. I was a little cross-eyed when I hit send. This was amazing what you did. Oh, really? Most of it was, most of it was just going through and replacing you know, putting Waitley and replacing building with school. I did a, I did a find and replace all and it made some really funny things. <laughs> so on the Google map, it says the Board of Selectmen live at this address, just so you know. Yeah, I saw that. And well, I well, the see. Google map also says the Waitley Water District owns the town's pump house down on the south end of Chestnut Plain Road. <laughs> so and on this Google, uh, you know, street view, it does not show any wires leaving the telephone pole and going to the building. Yeah, isn't this interesting? There is power in there, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's turned off. Maybe it's turned off. No, but they don't cut the wires really interesting. Down, they turn it off. Nope, there are no wires going in there. Wild. My favorite heading, subheading, is runs with the land. Unless it unless <laughs> that was not an expression I had heard before. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm going, I'm going down the street here to see if it goes off of uh you're working on this. Okay. I'm driving down the street right here on Google, Google Play, <laughs> Google. Love it. Would you like to share your screen? Yeah. What the heck? I'm on a different sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Since Susan taught me last week how to do that. I'm disabled right now, it says. Under security. Yes, no, I just hit it. I just hit it. Okay. And every time I say that, I silently or not so silently thank my assistant who taught me that. Okay, can you can the, you say the pole does no it. no it goes underground. Not seeing it. Not seeing it. Uh, no. Hang Sorry. On. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. So uh, we'll back up here. Oh shit. Well, this is looking down the street. Mm -hmm. And uh I think I had to turn this back around. Which is which is labeled Depot Road because Google calls Christian Lane Depot Road. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. So here we are. We'll here go we back are. Way. All right. We could have a block party to rip down yeah, this chain link right. fence. Hang on. So here's the poles. Poles, 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 here's right? The, here's the island by the flag, right? Yeah. Uh, if poles. you go up to the pole by uh, Hannah's I'm, place. I'm going. Hang on. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> hang okay. On. He just oh. passed it. All right. Hang on. Hey, that one, that pole there on the left of your screen. Yeah. There's a down, there's a, it looks like there's a cable that runs down into the ground. Yep. You're right. That's it. I that's think not that's just a that's just a, a grounding. You know what I mean? Grounding. I don't know what the hell it is, but <laughs> but you sure see, there's it, no wires from the poles no going wires. to the pool. I think it's power drop to the building, maybe telephone service too. Yeah, here's the school. Yeah, and no wires coming off it. Wow. Antennas on the roof that must go. But yeah, no wires. That is so interesting, isn't it? Go down, Christian, if you would. <laughs> see if there's anything. You want to go to Sylvia's huh? house just to check? No, 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 no. no. I want to see if there's anything no, coming the in from the way. side. It, I'm going. It was there before. It, it doesn't. Yeah. Go so from, there's go Con, there's go Connie go Kelsey's house. I'm trying house. to find trying to find the pole. I think you just passed the pole. There, yeah, are, there are definitely one. there are definitely poles on um. All there's right, one. So there's wait, one. Wait. Yeah. On. Let's go. Oh. oh hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't get sick. <laughs> All right. So here we are. Oh, you want it's flip me around. Here we go down. This again. is the best meeting we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So here we are. So there are these wires right here, but I think they're going to Anne's house. I think so too. That's they're going. Yeah. Yes. Dan did it. He's gonna have a lot of fun with this meeting. Oh, yeah. He is. Let's go to his he house. Is. Wait, we'll go to his house now. <laughs> well, well, we Dan? can. Dan, just look, at, just look at the side view of the building. There was nothing coming out of it. Well, I actually, you know, I, I have heard so many times Jonathan Edwards talk about how terrible above uh, ground All right, I'll poles stop and sharing. wires are. Um. So that was very interesting. Now right. we're now we're seeing Allison's desktop. Yep. Um, well, you can stop sharing. I gotta figure. I could. I could forbid you. I okay, no, forbid. I can forbid you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so now that was really interesting. But I have a serious question. Do, do we want to say to a prospective buyer, you may not have an overhead phone or cable line? Everybody else does. It seems that's I. I um, think the town you know hall. I mean? The it, town hall certainly has wires yeah. to it. The church has wires to yeah. it. That there, seems punitive and yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, if, if we were selling a property today, I would say let's leave it in so that when they negotiate, we we can be the good guys, and this would be something we'd be willing to strike. But that's not what we're doing today, right? So we're just going to say the paragraph D can be removed. I think that's what we've just agreed. Is everyone? Is everyone on the? Yeah. 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 I think so. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure I have the minutes. Agreed. Okay. Um. So, um, anything else? Anybody? I don't okay. think so. I'm... All right. So I am going to make the changes we talked about, improve the milk bottles, give the milk bottle its own whereas. Um, check to see where, if any of the others are uh, named on the National Register, and if so, where that first appears. Um, I am not planning to look up the deed and so on and so forth, but just to leave those as blank placeholders. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, if Brian says he has, a, there is he a said, deed. He says he's, he's seen a deed, which was interesting because that was quite a challenge with the town hall, wasn't it? Did we ever find a deed? I don't think so, but that was built up. 
70 years earlier, but right. it, I was suspecting there wasn't a deed because it's not on the assessor's card. And, mm -hmm. um, for there's not on the assessor's card doesn't have a deed for the um doesn't have a page center enough. school no yeah um that's interesting so uh so i'll do the things we've just talked about and um then i will remind brian that we're to be on the agenda for a week from tomorrow night um if anybody else would like to join that meeting with the select board, that would be terrific, I think. If you would not, I think I'm fine <laughs> no, on my own too. I think they're looking for help. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh, Again, for putting this together. Oh, well, you're welcome and thank you for, thank you. I, I think you should go ahead and, I. I think you're, um, uh, you know, submitting the revised um, form B so that we can say we're sending a new one is would be great, really sure. great. Um, and sorry, you raised one other question, which is whether we should include photographs with the uh, preservation agreement. The three examples he sent had lots of photographs. Now they both they all they all had both exterior and interior components to the preservation restrictions. So there were more opportunities for photographs. Hey, but, Judy, Judy, would you like a drone photo of the cupola? Sure. <laughs> now you're yeah. just having fun. I, I become very fond of that. <laughs> No, well, I took one of her weather vanes. She liked that, so I can fly it around the school and get photos of the creature on the outside. I think that would be nice. Um, I, I mean, we don't have to have more photographs for okay. for next week. I don't think because <laughs> no, we're not talking about building more photographs into the macro century. We're talking about being helpful for the for the RFP. Um, Okay, anything else we should talk about tonight? Um, next week, is it scheduled one? And yes, there is. And thank you all because we're we, we've been meeting every two weeks and it's really a lot. I think I think when we get past this, I may move you know for a sabbatical of a month <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Although oh, we have I, other we have other things pending. Just, I should mention that the, the East School is going yeah. for a special permit and a site plan review. And we don't have the plans for the site plan review yet, which is what the historical oh, commission right. normally looks at. But they are telling us that they're not changing anything on the exterior at the um except maybe the parking lot. I don't even know about that, but so um, had, had they, you looked had you looked at their impact statement, which is Posted on the ZBA's website. All I did was look at the interior drawings. Uh, well, they have the drawings, but there's also a, a page of prose that says what you just said. But in prose, you know, and it's um, yeah. the only thing that made me laugh is that the last sentence um, expresses their excitement at the opportunity to preserve the Irving graded school. So this is obviously a template that they use because this, I mean, I think it's great to have someone doing it who, who does this. <laughs> He's in a great rush to get the permitting done because the building code changes on July 1st in a way that will make the project uneconomical. Would you guys excuse me? Uh, yeah, I just saw somebody pull up to my house with the delivery. Sure. Uh, All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, well, his the other attachment says that he's hoping to finish in 16 to 20 months. Um, I just, I just wanted to tell you, I don't think that the historical commission needs to worry about the site plan review. Period. Yeah, the, the, the description that is posted on the CBA website. I mean, even the drawings, I couldn't find the drawings that they showed us when we did our walk around, what, five years ago, I think. 17, 18, 
Um, and Judy, were you with us when we did that? Yeah, yeah okay, sorry. I, I remember Darcy being there and I remember being thrilled about the furnace, which is one of the most beautiful furnaces I have ever seen. It was really cool. It is just fabulous. Um, anyway, the drawings seemed to be the drawings we had looked at before, or at least there was nothing about them that made me think this is really a disaster, what they're yeah. proposing to do. Well, I've been worried about, you know, this. The practical stuff. The planning board has to worry about drainage and septic and lighting well, and well, and, and, parking and, and traffic safety, but. Um, and, and the immediate neighbors, you know, I mean, he 10, said nine apartments is going to be 18 or more cars, right? You know, they're it's all a lot. One bedroom, they're all one bedroom apartments. Yeah, but most one bedroom, I mean, having two parking spaces for a for a one bedroom apartment. I don't know is, how many yeah. it's gonna have. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, no, that's. I think from our point of view, it's an issue. No, I just hope, I hope that he doesn't, um, you know, that he can do what he wants to do because it will be better than the alternative. Um, our next meeting, Alan, on the calendar is April 17th at five. Right. And I think the switch to 5.30 was at my request. Is that true? It wasn't your work schedule, right, Susan? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And at that meeting, we should go back to the archaeological indicators and North Street, right? See yeah. Okay. 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 Well, thank you all. I'm glad we solved the overhead wire. <laughs> Mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we adjourn? Sounds like a okay. good idea. All right. Bye-bye. Take care, everybody. <laughs>